pretty good team. Call it slides. Call it? Oh god. What is it? We're up by Genki his lane, and the sure, two of sure. them together are a pretty fearsome yeah. duo. We'll see how it develops. For now, a lot of pressure, but I I mean Lumi, this mid lane. 23 and 13 on the Quap to 6 and 0 on the Ember. Boboka doesn't even need to be there anymore. Like Quap can easily just continue to handle Fada 1v1. He actually had to go home. Coming back now, so they need to make oh. up for it elsewhere. And they're trying for it on Bernie, but these dire creeps are apparently turncoats. They seem to be playing more for the Radiant side. If anything, Bemesis says, I don't need their support. Finds the kill. She comes, and it's a UI with the DD. Putting some pressure on a, another Bobo, Boboka. <laughs> Bottom lane here, and again, MSS getting the cogs here onto Bernie needs to soak up some of this damage if Q is to have any chance of living, but it's not going to happen. MSS scoring another kill, and that Earth Dome does not assemble in time. He'll make it back to safety. A lot of space created by MSS, who now might look to go in here onto Q. He gets the cogs off. He keeps Bernie and Boboko away. They can't even help their friend. Can't even soak up the damage. Getting pushed out at the last second. Rocket. Might save Q. The rocket says no. It's MSS again with the plays, again. and now they want more. Fada jumping in. Oh, doesn't commit, didn't have the vision there to set up those chains, so he wisely, I think, retreats. Avenue to go on the offensive as of yet. I'm just gonna make that journey down bottom. We'll start jungling a bit. Meanwhile, Brewmaster being pursued in the mid lane is OP. Goes for the dive on AUI, gets off the scrape, commits the yield. See you later, buddy. Nice clean kill. For himself, the armor is nice, but... I wonder if, you know... Uh, like a an orchid or a yule might be a little bit better. Uh, AUI might be in trouble here. You're gonna reel him back in. There's the clips connection. Does not have the ultimate yet, but coming in with the initiation is MSS. But do they have the follow up? OP wants to commit for this. He gets clipped by the chains. He gets punished too. Not respecting. Uh, is relatively close. They're gonna move in on NB Stusa. Vacuum him back. Commit pretty heavily to this. Boka still moving forward, but Pai is there, just waiting on the sidelines. They know he doesn't set something up in the mid lane. Fana maybe baiting OP in. Chasing forward. Going for those auto attacks, jumps up to the high ground. He does not have his ultimate just yet, and MSS is there, looking for the punish. The Quapo now available, will drill Fana, but pays the price. A one for one core trade. Very good stats. A lot of what you saw want. The mana, the, the attack damage, it's all good. Here comes Fana, rockets there, and Boboka will break the smoke, but also gets caught. Nice pick for NP. They had all... It looks like he has a drums queued up. Definitely will help out with his mana issue. Uh oh, NP getting glimpsed back Ooh. here, right as he tries to TP away, so he'll be a sad panda. They're gonna back him directly back into the middle of the fray. He's out of mana, he could be in a lot of trouble. NP low, but not dead yet. The mech gets popped, they still want to chase. Simultaneously, XXS has to be careful. Low on HP and the Hulk's there. MSS with the connection. He's caught OP though. Can OP blink out of time? He's gonna chew his way through the cogs. He gets pushed back. He will escape. MSS maybe still hunting that pesky dark seer. The Conehead retreats to the north, but the rocket's gonna keep the vision and Pi can plink away at him. Looks like only a matter of time with the TP on cooldown. They're gonna have to sack the dark seer. Sleight of fist there. Remnant through. Surge. Oh, space created! He keeps on going! And the tower and the rocket, rocket will finally end the chase, but... If he gets the angle he's hoping for. Yeah, he needs to wait for the slaughter to run away from the super. Back to his power, rocket flare, give away the vision. Hey, buddy. I'm coming for you, And they are gonna commit here, but perhaps MSS is gonna get punished for this corrosive haze on him. And still Boko alive, they've gotta make sure they finish this kill. The medical assistance of XXS will keep him alive. MSS still sticking around. The rock gets dropped, will be enough to bring down that pesky fish here. And they even blew the Brewmaster off. They need to get two kills out of this fight, ideally. Still MSS surviving, even with the glimpse back, XXS will commit and finally brings him down. Very tanky Darkseer. Now Fada joining the fray, tries to run away. Can Fada bring him down? Remnant forward, commits a lot, gets caught with the crush under the tower. He's pretty low armor, has to be careful, but actually it's the blade mail. That's gonna help him out. Finally, Burning shows up, late to the party. Ideal time to come in. They will find the turnaround here. Two dead, possibly looking- Great stats item for oh, IG with the counter smoke. This could be big, Baboka looking for the opening, but it's high in position to break that smoke. So he gets revealed, unfortunately, Envy on his own, but there is a good hole coming in. MSS looking to turn the heights. The quad not the best at all. Really only does damage to MSS and Envy getting pulled back in, but alive for now. Burning turned into stone by the gaze. Envy, oh, that's an ugly snake, but it's doing the trick. Now the chase forward. Fada trying to bring Bernie down. He will be successful. They removed the Sven from the fight. For now, the Darkseer unable to contribute. Quap's got to blink away. 
A clear win for NP, and they might be able to grab two more core kills on the back of it. They throw that quap up in the air. They'll take down XXS, and now, as he drops back down, it's into the cogs of MSS, ready and waiting. OP won't make it out. NP, a full f- the rest of the map, take down the tier two things for that. But they're gonna jump on Envy again. Well, last time this didn't work out too hot, but they also see Pylite die. Perhaps a slightly easier kill. The Static Storm deployed a zoning Static Storm, and that's really it. Espada jumping forward onto the Disruptor, gonna find the opening kill. And now it's Chaos for IG, getting back back in. They turn the fight around with the Queen of Pain on. A decent crush from Boboka could secure this kill. AUI is gonna drop. Envy, meanwhile, standing his ground, though, and they're gonna lose Burning. It's been out of the picture. These trades are certainly not IG favored, as Vada, smelling blood in the water, is gonna chase out that Darkseer. Goes for the chains. Won't have the right timing. NP though, still clearly. Before the GG call from IG, they just were compelled to take a fight because of the ults were down, but just because of the ults is down. Uh, oh, did it cancel the TP? Uh, yes, they did. Fada, Yo. persistent. And persistence pays off. MSS there ensuring Baboka ain't getting out of this one. An extra cherry on top for NP. To go farming the way he was earlier this That game. clockwork, man, it's scary. He doesn't have the BKB just yet. He is building towards it, but he doesn't have a, a quick way to get out. Clockwork hook. Oh, Swing and a miss from MSS. But Fada's on the case. Gets the chains, now the urn comes through. Gonna destroy that creep as a remnant forward. All but secures the kill. Baboka still running, and Fada slamming the door. Envy and scurries in from the side. Making sure that the blink dagger will always be kept on cooldown, so. No jukes into the Oh, OP trying to debut his Orchid here, committing onto that Warlock, but he's quite tanky. Has to drop the ult. A Blink Scream forward will get the kill. Does he make it out? There's the Yules, and away he goes. So, OP creating a little space, and that is at least a few attacks off on the tower, perhaps. Will IG find the timing to punish? They will break the Lincoln Sphere. And now, look for the opening. It's the four step forward to start things off. They get up the crush. They are going to drop the cage. The follow up stun for Burning's there, and the rock interrupts this combination. Forging XXS back and working on the tower. Envy wants to bring it down. That Aegis might not pop at the right time, though. Remember, there's a glimpse he has to be careful about when he retreats. He's going to get reeled back in. Envy may have overplayed his hand. Aegis has 10, ten seconds. seconds. They don't want to kill him just yet. They're trying to time this perfectly for IG, but they keep Envy in view. They continue to chase. Oh, Aegis. this could be bad. They've got to save Envy, John. Burning's on the chase. He smells blood. He wants Envy, but he's not going to get in range in time. Envy slithers back to safety. They did drop the rock, they committed the Bruce split, and Envy has to retreat. So IG at least forcing out those ults, but do they get the kills on top of it now? Bringing the clock back into the fight, they will drop MSS. Burning, blinking forward, push down to a below half, and IG's hand maybe about to be forced. There is no split push for now. Thought it could throw out that remnant and engage, but first IG are gonna make their move. Stone Gaze from Envy, trying to lock the Dark Sea in position. If they can separate him from the rest of the team, the combo won't be there, but AUI walks right into the meat grinder. He tanks the burning ult. Quickly gonna drop, BKB committed. Can they find that follow-up kill? They're gonna glimpse back. Now, next, and potentially a very important kill. Ember Spirit isolated, not dead yet though. Fada will fall. They drop the rock, and they look to follow up. Burning, deleted. Fada buying back and rejoining the fight immediately. They know this Aegis is crucial for the upcoming engagement. They wanna get a little bit more for their trouble. Good four stat by XXS. They will disengage. So a two for kill the Brewmaster, but there's no real follow-up to those three heroes. The Sven BKB'd and didn't hit anything after the Brew died, so I think that is all credit to Envy for his zoning. Now top lane XSS trying to go off mid lane as well. Oh, Envy out in front. He's he, got cheese. He will be the beefy snake. Good luck trying to skin this one. They might, they might have to try, though, as the racks are dropping dangerously low here. Perhaps going to play around by X. The Stone Gaze gets committed, and now Darkseer potentially could be the one who plays. Melee racks low, Envy going to bring it down. Still doing good damage here. Disruptor also in danger. Might want to get that glimpse off the Lincoln Sphere. Just now getting popped though, so won't have the glimpse opportunity. They're gonna look for the silence. The follow up could come from Baboka jumping in on Fada. Fada able to juke him. Survives in the Cog's pushback. Isolates Burning, who two peed into a questionable position. He's now in danger here. BKB available, getting pushed out of the Cogs. He has to BKB and he has to run. And Envy's there to cut him off at the pass. The stun comes through, but it's just a headlong retreat from IG as NP overwhelmed them. DAC champions, top four at the Kiev Major. NP finding their stride. This could be it, Lumi. The desperation fight. Do they get the opening they need? They're going to go on Envy. They really don't want to initiate on him, but already Queen of Pain revealed. They say, screw it, man. Let's just jump. XXS, first man in. Gets the back. Drops the wall. Where's the follow -up? The Burning Sun's there. They need a little bit more. Baboka coming in. Looking for the crush. They've got good damage, but the Brew Split is going to prevent this follow-up. Baboka's got to run. Still Envy. Full HP. Surviving through it all. Pounding into OP. Survives. 
looks forward. Double buyback. They've got to win. They need these kills, and they're just not getting them. Envy's still alive, standing through it all. Has the cheese if he needs it. Pops it now, right back to full HP, and continues to lay into IG. Their tournament dreams in jeopardy. Storming forward onto Burning. Burning hardly hitting anything this game. Also having to deal with that pesky Warlock slow. He finally has to turn tail and run, but Envy, he's done his damage. There's a Vecchi for next success. There is no follow-up. Now he's the one in trouble. Chained out, Envy, staggering retreat. The focus still engaging. engaging. Good crush and pie, a much easier kill. That's what IG needed. Perhaps what the doctor ordered, but they've got to get a bit more. The stone gates from Envy, purely zoning tactics, but IG ain't gonna give it up this easy. They need this kill and they need it bad. NP on the precipice, but can they close it out? The Static Storm gets dropped, and Envy gonna walk into it. He doesn't care, he's a big bad man. He'll bring them down. Sven though, looking to turn the tides. The Age is now gonna be committed, and Envy re-engaging onto Burning, cutting him, controlling him. That Sven doesn't have buyback, could be out of the game for a long time, and Burning will drop. Quelch, and now looking for a bit more to bring down the Slardar. And NP closing in on the win. I IG have no buyback. It's just too much. They it's 2v5. Like, they just output so much damage in Envy. Envy passed, like, what, three, four stone gates? BKB coming out from OP, but control, absolutely. He needs to blink away. He tries to stay. There's no way he can man fight the Jackie Mao. And I think that's going to be a second lane of Rax. Oh. Rax quickly dropping. NP surging into form at a critical moment with those TI invites. The golden tickets. Potentially awaiting the winners of this tournament. They keep their lower bracket run going here. And they ease their way towards a game two victory. Good Cox placement. Low key. Gets pushed back. IG on the ropes now. Still 60 seconds to the Sven, and it's going to be a long while. I mean, Sven, even a hero in this game, I'm not too sure. The wall gets dropped, but now Brewmaster split. That will help disable and assault vacuum back into the wall to no avail as those illusions get cleaned up by eternal envy and he keeps on pushing forward the megas are nigh np stronger and stronger by the moment finding their footing taking down that last rax and they're just about there lumi it's only the tier fours the throne all that remains ig up against it and they tap out it's gg np have done it showing that yesterday was not a fluke but perhaps the start of something amazing. 2-0 victory here for MP. You know, I'll